make sense of the world around us. I've often thought about how our perception of the world is shaped by the tools we have to observe it. I see these beautiful connections between artists and scientists and mathematicians. They are all creating new representations of the human experience that are complementary. What art might inspire how we do science? What scientific knowledge might inspire how we do art? Artists see in a way that they haven't seen before by inventing tools or techniques to extend their vision. Tools began really as part of nature. Every tool we come up with, we discover something new. How good at craftsmen can we be with our tools to understand the universe more deeply? What do you make a computer out of? What do you make glass out of, right? How will you build the things of the future? Once I loved a chemist, and now I know how the world is made. Pieces of the earth extend our sight beyond our bodies. The idea for a digital future was that you could build a binary machine that could do all the calculations you wanted. That changed everything. One of the things we're very interested in in neuroscience is capturing what it is like to have some experience. That's where the power of art lies, is to communicate experiences in terms of symbols and strokes. And that's something that current AI technology can't yet do. To understand the universe at its deepest level, nature tells us there's something even more going on. Quantum information is different. Quantum information is like the information in a dream. Mathematics and materials gave us bits. Biology and neurons gave us neural networks and artificial intelligence. Physics gave us quantum computers. All of them combined is going to be the next century of discovery. The key question is, what's next?